have your own space here in um, in the library and it, it knows me and it knows who I am and if I find a video that I love it it takes me there and it's great so a couple of things like for example you know in math not much stuff has happened new lately you know it, it, we're, we're always talking about you know BC stuff and uh, but fractals are a new thing and I don't want my kids to get to college and somebody say well you know start talking about fractals and them not know it so I just went to the keyword and did fractals. There's my fractals! <laughs> Yay! Okay. So things that are new, things that are just happening, things that maybe aren't in our textbook, we can find here on, uh, on APT+. It's not I, only do they have the overview, they have the standards, and with the co college and career ready standards, you have those right there, but the teacher resources, and it shows you here that they have teacher's resources. This teacher's guide, ah, yay, don't you love it when a plan comes together, yeah. <laughs> is, um, you know, how many times have you watched a video and you watched it 800 times to try to get questions to that video? They're here. They've already done that for you. Then they give you a little activity so you have some hands-on things to do where you're looking at a triangle, an, isosceles, an equilateral triangle there, and then an isosceles, and it gives you actual questions. And then it starts pulling out all of these polygons. Guys, I have this exact same chart in, that I made up and for my students to find the angles of polygons, but it's already there done for you. So don't forget those ancillary materials. How many times have you thought, oh, I just want them to see this three minutes, or I just want them to see this five minutes, and you go and you try to find that, and then you can never get there, and you're past it, and you come back. See, I'm not the only one that has these problems. <laughs> so, uh, this has done it for you. Here, if I just want to go to global uh, GPS and mathematics and GPS, there's my seven minutes on mathematics and GPS. I don't have to find out where it is. So if you do find something long that you like, I love, love, love that tab that says related segments. Okay, my last thing. And this is something my friend Libby taught me. And I am preparing for this. I used it and I was so excited. I went to advanced search. I didn't put in a keyword. I thought, well, I'll just put in math. And I will just put in, now, you know, I always check 682, even though I'm ninth grade, don't tell my students. But sometimes there can be some really good 68 stuff. And then I, I clicked this format and I thought, hmm. Math activities, that looks interesting. I'd never seen that before until my friend Libby taught me about uh, advanced search. And then I searched it. And I got all of these cool hands-on activities. You will love, have you done this, Jeannie? <gasps> oh. Now, there are 148. So 148 is a little over my limit. So I went to just geometry because, you know, I don't know anything about algebra or calculus. Mm -hmm. um, there are 41 things here. And guys, these are not, they're, they're, they're PDFs of great activities. And about half of which I'm planning on using this year in my classroom. And this comes from this math activity on APT+. So don't think it's just videos. Don't think that that's all there is here. And there are great videos that capture kids' attention, but there's also other wonderful, wonderful um, materials and things that you can print off and go use in your classroom tomorrow. The great thing about APT is that it brings the world into your classroom. It takes real world examples um, and it lets your students see how the curriculum that they're learning applies to the real world without having to leave the classroom. So on APT Plus you will go again to Digital Library in the subject area box, you actually can search STEM as a topic. So I'm going to go to STEM. And then there are STEM videos. One, of course, is the Lab TV video series that, um, that Susan 
shared with you. I also want to go to Learn360 because there are videos on Learn360 that are actually very helpful as well. I love the videos that talk about the different careers in engineering because a lot of times when you ask elementary kids what is an engineer they say it's the guy that drives a train. Well, it is true, yes, but there is a whole other world of engineering out there that they're not aware of. And so a lot of times I talk with students about the different fields of engineering uh, because a lot of these students are interested in engineering, but they don't realize that that's what it's called. So there are several videos on um, engineering jobs. Um, the different careers in engineering, battlefield engineering, um, the pyramids in Egypt and how those were designed and the engineering tied into that. So uh, there is a whole world of resources on engineering on APT Plus that I would love for you to explore. And um, it is a passion of mine to teach students about the engineering process because we are preparing our students to be problem solvers in this world and there are many problems that we are trying to find solutions to and the best way to do that is through raising up some great engineers that know how to go through that process of designing and testing and then redesigning um, and that's what makes a true problem solver. So those are just a few of the resources that I wanted to share with you um, about how to tie engineering into your classroom. She said, hey, let me tell you about this great field trip. Your kids can go uh, to Mount Vernon and talk to George Washington, Martha Washington, a blacksmith, and they're going to get to participate. So that hooked me <laughs> because I've gone to virtual field trips where you just sit and you never get to interact. And those are boring. You start checking your email or do other things. So I knew the kids would do that too. So when she said there's opportunities for uh, connections during the, the Mount Vernon, and George Washington could say, I see April from Trustful wants to know how <laughs> my kids would light up at that. Um, it was an experience because we, we <laughs> practiced Skype several times and, and other tools to try to find what, what might work. We did Skype on this Mount Vernon, so um, so that was kind of neat. It was pre-scheduled, so at you know this time I'm going to Skype into Paint Intermediate. This time I'm Skyping to someone else. As these webinar or as these virtual field trips have evolved, those collaborations have become more spontaneous. And we're going to take a look and live interact this mashup. So take it away. Oh, she taught teach the torches to burn bright. It seems she hangs upon a chicken. As a rich jewel, That's my here, yeah. one of the too rich for use for Earth. We can show a video that will frame an upcoming lesson that is an introduction, but it's not an hour or so introduction, it's just in a nutshell. And I taught a class in, on Eastern Europe this past uh, year. It was great. I never thought I could get my kids to watch an hour and a half of a black and white movie in Polish with subtitles. The shadow I can't afford to sit there and ha what, throw an hour of class time at something they're going to zone out on. So when I can, I love that the short video search is on here now uh, because I can find these three and five minute videos that work. And once again, I could post this on my website for the night before. Watch this coming in. In fact, Let's do a blog entry on this the night before, and then we come in and interact. I also have my kids do uh, use Twitter for my classroom. Yeah, I'm a masochist, I know. <laughs> but uh, they, they set up classroom Twitter accounts, and I'll have them tweet takeaways from short videos like this. And then they have to at reply another student in class and build on their takeaway for it. So it becomes this giant conversation about a three-minute video. You can bring in someone you can never bring in for the class. You could bring in an expert. Uh, I've, there are videos on, of writers, of musicians, all that sort of thing that are here on APT+. Plus. And you can bring them in. And once again, you don't have to take up the entire hour. You can put it in a nutshell. Um, this is one of my favorites. And it's actually one of my longer form videos. And I show this in economics. This is a gentleman running a... Um, cafe in Australia. Instead of me talking about it in abstract, we have an expert right there in class. What I love to do with this one, there was a Slate article about a couple in New York that decided we want to open our own 
um, coffee shop. We want a quaint little coffee shop where everybody likes to come hang out and read. It went out of business in about eight months. And they talk about all the problems they had. Well, here's a guy who's making it work. So we can compare and contrast the short little article with this 20 minute video. What is he doing that they weren't doing? And it brings in higher level thinking. And when we're doing our own business plans, this video comes in very handy because we're talking about, okay, you've got to find someone that comes in and opens. You've got to find someone that cooks. Is your cook going to wash dishes too? If he's a good cook, he's not going to. We can talk about all these issues that he's been doing here as a went to our own business plans. Just have a few ideas of making your videos not just something they're going to passively watch, but something they build on. And, and Learn360 has plenty, there are myriads of other ways probably as you, you can think to use these videos, but I love these particular points. They're the points I've always gone back to when formulating my assignments.